Welcome into the dog days of summer where football is around the corner. The NBA is in the rearview mirror and we have nothing but baseball games. The twins trying to finish the first half on a strong note before the all star break taking on the Houston Astros in this one. The Astros will take an early lead already with one run on the board. Jose Altuve says we better make it two. he singles to left which would score a run. But then Christian Vasquez turned on his superhero character second inning down two. he cuts in to it. This base hit was scored by Byron Buxton as the Twins cut into the deficit. Now just a few innings later, same score. That's the same guy. And he said it was a 2-1 to one game, but not anymore. Grounds into a fielder's choice. A run scores and the Twins tie the game at two apiece. Now with the ninth inning and needing that hero, Vasquez said, I still have my cape on. It's a walk-off solo shot for him. The Twins win it 3-2. to two. Let's hear what the hero had to say after the game. It's fun, you know, every win matters. And now, you know, we finished the first half and we fought for the, the first place in this division. So it's a big win. Uh, you know, I think everybody put something on the table to win the game. Everybody pitched well and from the pitchers. And it's fun. It's fun. Very fun. All right, so you saw the highlights we heard from the team. Now let's talk about this. And none other than Henry Lake joins me right now from CCO Radio. Henry, I appreciate you taking your time to talk to me. So let's get right to it. Yep. Do the Twins have enough starting pitching to get them to the playoffs? We all know about Joe Ryan, Pablo Lopez, mm -hmm. and the rest of the crew. But do you think that's enough to compete against the big dogs in the AL? All right, so now you're, you're kind of more from one thing into, the, into a second thing. <laughs> do they have enough to get to the postseason? Yes. yes. Okay. Do they have have enough pitching to advance throughout the postseason that's a totally different question All right. so when I look at it you know Joe Ryan I believe has been pitching at an all-star type level um, Pablo Lopez he's the ace but he hasn't been you know at the level that he was last year right. Bailey Ober has had some killer performances and Simeon Woods Richardson has been really good so do they have the type of pitching to get there yes can they advance not sure let's talk about that bullpen 17 different pitchers have logged yeah. inning this season for the Minnesota Twins is that a good thing or a bad thing uh, it's not a good thing right <laughs> it's not a good thing and I think what's, what makes it even worse is that I'm not a believer in our bullpen mm -hmm. um, I think that one of the significant injuries to the bullpen has been Brock Stewart mm -hmm. Brock Stewart has been a really good pitcher for the Minnesota Twins when healthy mm -hmm. if he's available I feel really good about them Caleb Thilbar has had a shaky year right, this right. year um, Yon Duran has had a shaky year this year so all in all bullpen not the, not the best so if you go to this trade deadline, are yep. you buying or selling if you're the Minnesota Twins? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, when I look at their situation, they definitely need to add an arm in the bullpen because they've had significant injuries leading into the season and they've had injuries during the season. But with all of that being said, who do you move? Right. Like, we keep hearing the name Max Kepler. Should you move him to try to get another piece? I'm um, not sure what you would get for Max Kepler at this uh, specific point. But I look at it, and I think, like, the bullpen is an area that needs to be addressed. All right. So we talked about the bullpen. We yeah. obviously saw last year in the playoffs versus the Astros. The bullpen did a somewhat decent job. They were yeah. up and down. But the bats, they were very inconsistent in the playoffs. They've been somewhat inconsistent in this 2024 season. Yeah. Royce Lewis, when he plays, is like an all-star. Yep. But the fact is, he's not playing a lot right now do the twins feel comfortable leaving their roster as is and competing in the postseason or do they need to go get another bat in terms of the bats I'm not sure that you're gonna be able to acquire another bat um, and, and quite frankly that's the part that has to get shored up not about necessarily going and adding a super talented person you know in terms of your bat but in terms of getting that consistency to me that's what it's all about the reason why the twins are what five games or six games out six behind games Cleveland out. Yep. Mm -hmm. is because of the inconsistency offensively right. the pitching has been good enough mm -hmm. like you've gotten some some surprise appearances from some certain guys in that starting rotation so if you can consistently consistently get it done then I think that'll be just fine Willie Castro is leading the team in hits with 86 is that a good or a bad thing for the twins uh, not good <laughs> that's not good you said me up you set me up it's not good but um but with that being said you know I, I feel like the Minnesota Twins you should feel lucky that they're just six games out right you know realistically like we haven't had a great first half to the season but you're right there because they've had these winning streaks mm -hmm. that have really surprised all of us do they stack mm -hmm. up 
in the AL against the Astros, the Yankees, the Orioles, and teams like that because you're talking about them getting to the playoffs, yeah. but the people here in the Twin Cities, they want to see them win. Do they get over that hump? Are they good enough to do that? Can they get out of the first round? Yes. I think that they could get out of the first round. Can they advance and get to a World Series? I don't think that that's the case. Why? Just because I don't think that until they show us mm -hmm. and prove that they can consistently put four or five runs on the board, right. that they're going to be able to get that done. Do you think Royce Lewis will be a guy who they center their, their focus around and try and make him, you know, this top dollar player? Or do you think with his health and the, the injuries that he sustained, yeah. do you think he's worth all that money? Well, I, I think that he's worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I think he's an unbelievably talented player. But the, the problem is, you brought it up, is his health. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you center him and make him the vocal point when you're not sure if he's going to be available, right. you know, the rest of the way? So at this particular time, um, I, I feel like when he's in there, clearly he's one of your better players. He's a benefit. Um, but when he's not there, that's a massive hole. All right, it would be a shame for me not to mention Carlos Correa headed back to his third All-Star game. This time as a reserve. Last year, he was hitting 230. This season, 305. Thoughts on the shortstop? Yeah, he's been phenomenal and the first two years here in Minnesota first half of the season not good then he turns it on in the second half of the season this year the total opposite hopefully it won't be him going the other way in the second half right. hopefully he can have an entire completely great season well after that playoff loss to the Astros last year he was very adamant about getting back to work ramping things up and he said his motivation heading into this season Lake was his two young boys they've never witnessed him play in an all-star game or get mm. to go with him to all-star week and those festivities so he said he's grateful that they get a chance to join him now and take part in that and he's healthier he is last healthier year now. he was dealing with the plantar right. fasciitis so mm -hmm. he's doing good now